Hello, Claudia, how are you? Hello, Claudia. Are you there? Hello. Claudia. Hi. <laughs> ¿Cómo va? ¿Cómo le fue ayer? Uh, well, sí, ya un poco mejor. Fíjese, es que a mí me da una alergia bien fea. Usted que se me hincha toda la cara. Ah, really? Ajá. Sí, pero ya hoy, en la, como me tomé las medicinas fuertes, y esa me dan un sueño inmediato, casi. Pero ah. ya, ya, ya estuvo mejor. Ah, qué bien. ¿Pudo ver la clase? Sí, la vi. Ah, ok. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta antes que vengan los demás? Eh, uh, fíjese que solo es lo del cuando se usa I have para... Des, para Decir sobre cómo se siente uno uh -huh. eh, en la parte de edge que se le agrega. Edge, si, es, uh -huh. si es en todos los estados o en todas las partes del cuerpo que hay que agregar eso. Eh, no, no en todas. Es que dependiendo de la enfermedad. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, si usted tiene dolor de espalda, I have a backache. O, pero a veces, por ejemplo, cuando le duele la garganta, no dice, I have a throat, throat ache. Dice, I have a sore throat. Right? So it will depend. Sí, el, uh, el vocabulario ya está, ya está como dado, digámoslo así. Right? Mire, y, y tenía una duda también con esa misma parte, porque yo he visto en algunas oraciones que él se escribe separado. H. Oh, no, it is together. It's together. They are all together. Ah, ok. O sea, tiene que ir unido con H, por ejemplo, con la parte de, del cuerpo. With ache, yes. With ache. Uh, Headache, backache, toothache, earache. Exactly. Y en el caso de, para decir, eh, dolor de mal. Toothache. Oh, when your hands are. Hands or cuando le duelen las manos. Ajá. That's arthritis. Esa es artritis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Sí, eso sí, yo sé. That's arthritis. Uh -huh. Right? Ajá, uh -huh, that's different. But we're going uh -huh. to see that today. We're going to practice that. Uh, okay. Good evening, Mario. Good evening, Johnny. Right. I think we're going to start with today's class, right? And we're going to make a review, okay? Vamos a hacer un review chiquitito de lo que hicimos ayer. And I need you to, to look at the, the screen right now. Give me a second. Okay. I will show you here some some illnesses and some vocabulary that you can use. And you are going to tell me like the, using the examples that we used yesterday, right? Because yesterday we, we practiced a lot with some illnesses. So I need you to tell me what can you see here, right? For example, right? Do you remember this vocabulary? Yes. Can you, okay, can yes. you see here? Okay, very good. So for example here, right? If I have sore throat, right? If I ask you the question, I'm gonna delete this woman, I don't like it. Okay. If I ask you the question, for example, let's see who's here. J. 
Johnny, if I ask you the question, what's the matter? You're going to use one of these words to tell me your answer, right? So what's the matter? What could be a possible answer? Teacher, eh, pues sinceramente no le, no le entiendo porque ayer mm, me conecté, pero como 20 minutos después me desconecté, ya solo vi las partes del cuerpo, esto ya no lo... Ya no But lo yesterday vi. we were practicing this, right? Do you remember we practiced this? Los últimos no, no. 20 minutos. ¿Cómo no? No, no, esto sí ya no lo vi. That's weird. We practiced this yesterday, right? Ah, hasta ahí lo vi. Okay. Que nos We practiced the conversation. Ajá, nos puso ese. Ajá, hasta ahí, hasta ahí. Okay. Tanto, que desconectar. Pero okay. igual. Okay. Puede preguntarle a alguien más y yo escucho y ahí practico. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I remember we practiced this, correct? Correcto. Yes, yes, we practiced this. Okay, very good. So if I ask you the question, what's the matter or what's wrong? You are going to answer, I have a headache, for example. I have a backache. I have a sore throat, right? So that will be the possible answer that you can uh, give me, right? So what about this one here? I see if I ask you what's the matter, Mario, do you remember the activity or the, the structure that we practice? What's the matter? I have? So I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache, very good. I have a stomachache. Very good, very good. So there we're going to have, sorry. Stomach, okay, very good. So then we're going to have another one, right? What's the matter? If I ask you here, what's the matter, Dennis? You're going to use one of these words. Dennis? Hello? Let's see. No? Okay. So, do you remember the, the vocabulary words that we practice? ¿Se recuerdan de, la, de las enfermedades que practicamos ayer? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Only Miguel. Okay, only Miguel. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very teacher. good. Yes, Miguel. I, I don't remember what, what is the meaning TC. Hello, hello. Hello. Sorry. That's a new word. I have two new words. I have this word, it's new, and I have the other one here. DC is, for example, when you are in in a car, for example, you are in a car for more than five minutes, for more, no, for more than three hours. Let's suppose that you're going to go to Guatemala and you are in the car and then you feel dizzy, like your stomach is not good, right? And you want to vomit, you want to throw up, right? That's dizzy, right? So dizzy, here we're gonna look for other meaning can you see my computer okay i'm gonna show you here right now we want a picture dc this is dc me eh, mario look at this Mariado. Exactly, very good. That's how you feel. When you are in a car for more than two or three hours, you feel dizzy, right? So we're going to work with that word today and we're going to add another one that is sick, right? Sick, when you say sick, it's similar to dizzy, not the same, but very similar. But you also want to, you know, look, I feel sick. 
right? Or sometimes when you are eat, when you eat a lot, when you eat a lot of food, you say, oh, I, I feel sick, right? You want to throw up. That's another another word that we're going to use, right? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Yesterday we practiced with I have, right? This is one structure, but we also practice with I feel, right? So with this, look at the example that I have here. It says feel plus adjectives. These examples of adjectives are to express bad feelings, right? So we have terrible, sick, dizzy, lightheaded, awful, right? These, all these, they are not good, right? They are very bad feelings. For example, you say, I have the flu. Teacher. So, yes, yes. Se mira siempre la pantalla que compartió. Okay, give me a second. Look at this. Can you see this? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So we have feel plus adjectives, right? We have examples of adjectives to express bad feelings. Uh, something that is not good. So this is the opposite of saying happy, right? Uh, great, excellent. No, these are bad, right? So I have terrible, sick, dizzy, lightheaded, Awful, right? Those are adjectives. So I'm going to say, for example, I have the flu. I feel sick, right? That's one example. Or I can also say, tell me another illness besides the flu. Deme otro ejemplo de una enfermedad. Ya tenemos ahí the flu. ¿Cuál sería otra? Backache. Backache. Okay. Very good. Backache. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Amor? Okay. Just one. Hey. Just one. Okay. We're going to do a good hey. sum. Mm -hmm. Hey. Tot okay. Okay. We're going to use that one in a, in a minute. Okay. So we have backache. So we say, I have a backache. Right? Okay. And then the question is, how do you feel? Let's say la pregunta, how do you feel? Para contestar a la pregunta de how do you feel, we can actually use uh, some of these adjectives. Vamos a utilizar uno de esos adjetivos, right? So how do you feel? And then we can say, for example, right? I feel. I feel. Terrible. I feel terrible. Okay, very good. I feel terrible. Perfect. Right. And then what if we use the example that Samuel gave us? He said toothache. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So tell me, this is the word. I need you to create an example like this. Who, can, who wants to try? I have toothache. Okay, I have a toothache. Very good. Lester, I have a toothache. Okay. And then I feel, I feel what? Awful. I feel awful. Very good. Awful is like, oh no, I feel awful. Right? Okay, very good. So that's, that's how, okay. yes. Go ahead. ¿Qué significa awful? Se me ha ido el... Awful. Look at this. I'm going to show you. Voy a tratar de que siempre ustedes tengan el significado a partir de las imágenes. Okay. Awful. Look at the pictures here. Look at here. Como desganado. Right? Exactly. Very good. Look at this. Right? It's like, uh-uh, it doesn't taste good, right? Or for example, we have opposite. This chicken is excellent. This is awful, right? So it's not yeah, good. So. This is a chicken, excellent. And the opposite is awful, 
Lo opuesto es awful, right? So awful pretty much means that it's not good. You don't feel good, right? No se sienten bien. Eso es lo que significa awful. I feel awful, right? Is that clear? Yes, teacher, thanks. You're welcome, yes, sir. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? We're going to do a small practice. Look at this, uh, can you see, can you see my computer right now? Look at this, can you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. So we have a class activity. Imagine, it says here, that you don't feel well today. Right? So it says go around the class, so this is the class. Right? Find, find out what's wrong with your classmates. Then we have a conversation, right? In the conversation, what we're going to do is that we are going to practice here, right? I feel I have, right? I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache, right? And then we are going to use these useful expressions, right? These two are positive and these two are negative, right? It's, oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. They said, that's too bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, right? And then we can also continue with the conversation, right? Because if we say, for example, how do you feel here at the end, then we can say, I feel great. What, what is a possible answer if we say, I feel great? Positive or negative? Positive. Positive, positive. very good. Very good, Mario, very good, Marielos. So we have positive. Right, so if we have a positive answer, we might want to use one of these two. That's good, or I'm glad to hear that, right? That's what we're going to do. But I want to have two people right now to practice before we go. Vamos a ver, vamos a modelar la, la, la conversación. Who wants to try? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Marielos, someone else? No? Another person? Hey, okay, Lester, okay. So Marielos, your letter A, and Lester, your letter B. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you today, John? I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache. I'm sorry to hear that. How do you feel? I feel great. Okay, very good, very good. But imagine if Marielos answers, I feel, mm. I feel horrible today, right? What's, up, what's the useful expression that I can use? That's good, that's too bad. Which one can you use? That's yeah. too bad. That's too bad, very yeah. good, right, very good. So. Here we're going to use more because this is just an example. Este solo es un ejemplo de la conversación. Pero, okay. right? We have more examples here. I think here they are. Give me a second. Okay, this ones. You're going to use this, right? And you're going to use this uh, vocabulary that we have here, right? This one plus this one, right? That's what you're going to use. Now I'm going to send that to your WhatsApp so you have the access to that. Give me a second. Van a utilizar el vocabulario que ya, ya practicamos enfermedades y vamos a, a también utilizar los adjetivos que hemos visto que son poquitos adjetivos no vamos a utilizar muchos para no confundirnos ok so let me see here ok we have one picture 
and ten. Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to put this other picture here. Do you receive two pictures right now? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Mm -hmm. So, perfect, perfect. So we're going to practice right now. Entendemos lo que vamos a trabajar en este momento. Sí, no. Uh, repeat yes. the conversation. We're going to repeat the conversation. Very good. But okay. we are going to use more vocabulary, right? Oh, we okay. can use more vocabulary. Ya el de la conversación ya lo sabemos. ¿Cuál es otro vocabulario que podemos utilizar? For example, if we have a stomachache, what's another word that we can use besides a stomachache? Josué? Otra, como otro síntoma, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Headache. Headache, very good. I have a headache. Okay, very good. And what if I want to say, uh, I feel, I feel terrible. And I want to change terrible. What else can you say? I feel? Uh, I feel fever. Okay, very fever. good. Awful. Awful, okay, I feel awful. Very good, so we're going to change the vocabulary, right? That's what we're gonna do. So we're going to work right now in groups of three, right? And let me see here. And we're going to practice with the, uh, the two pictures that I sent you to your WhatsApp. We're going to do that in five minutes, okay? So let's, let's do uh, this quickly, let's go. Let's go. Please click on join and let's practice, please. Practiquemos en los grupos, por favor. Let's go. Lester, Karen, Claudia, Samuel, Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo, can you please join the group? Hello, William. Hello, William. Hello, teacher, I'm sorry. Hi, don't worry. I'm going to assign you to a group, okay? We are practicing okay. with the two pictures that I just sent and we're practicing okay. a conversation. I will send the conversation in a moment. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Rodrigo, can you please go to the group? Rodrigo me escucha. William. I feel terrible today. I have um, a cold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's too bad. Yes, I need to visit my doctor. Well, how do you feel? Hello, how do you feel, William? Okay. 
I'm feel bad today. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's really. <laughs> How are, okay. How are you? Um, sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. That's a good adjective. Very good. Está muy bien que lo que lo utilice. Very good. Okay. Um, Entró, creo, Rodrigo. Ahí está Rodrigo. Ya, ya, aquí estoy. Yes. Ah, okay. ya vino. Ah, vale. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today, Rodrigo? Um, I'm fine. I'm great. Cool. <laughs> How do and you feel? I, and you, how do you feel? How do you feel? Um, I feel very stressed. I'm having work difficult. Okay. You're doing That's good. Keep too practicing. bad. What? That's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Feel up to keep on I feel terrible. I feel sick. I feel dizzy. I feel lightheaded. I feel awful. Awful. Uh, awful. Awful. Oh, awful. Yeah. Yes. No, it's not like O. Oh, it's O. Oh. Do you remember how we Apple. practice others? Right? It's like O. Uh, o. Uh, awful. Awful. Ah, awful. awful. The o. Uh. No es una O, pero no es una A. Okay? So it's like when you're, when you're tired, you say, oh, yeah. awful. Okay? Awful. 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 Okay, very Thank good. You. I have the flu, I feel sick. That, that's too bad. Okay. How do you feel, Karen? Um, I feel sick, I have the flu. I'm sorry to hear that. But say it also like, I'm sorry to hear that, right? You see? Right? With intonation, so it sounds pretty, right? I'm sorry to hear that, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Karen, how, do you feel how do you feel today, Lester? I feel very well. I have a job. Okay. Okay. That, that's, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. That's a great answer, Lester, but that's for jobs and occupations. Me siento super, tengo trabajo. That's perfect. I feel great. I have a job, right? But we're talking right now about being sick. Cuando usted está enfermo, right? Okay. Okay. So let's imagine that you are sick. Okay. And then we'll be, I feel awful. I, I have dry eyes. Okay, perfect. That's great. Así sí, ¿eh? Ajá. Okay. Okay, very good. How do you feel today, Susan?
Okay, so we're going to keep on practicing right now, right? And we're going to associate the conversation that you practice and the illnesses that you practice with more vocabulary, right? This vocabulary is related to common medications, right? So, did you watch the video yesterday? Yes, about medications? Okay, yes. perfect. So I need someone here to help me. Clarissa, can you help me out and read this part? It says common medications. Okay, common medication. Lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medication for health problems. Very good. Final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán los nombres de medicamentos comunes para problemas de salud. Okay, very good. These are health problems, you know, these are health problems. Sick, when you have a backache, toothache, those are sick problems, health problems. So for that, we're going to practice common medications. And I have a picture here. Can you see the picture? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So with this picture, because you already watched the video, right? Ya vieron el video en la plataforma. Vamos a ver acá la pronunciación de esto. Necesito que ustedes me digan, how do you pronounce this? Right? I have, for example, this common medication. How do you pronounce this? Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Okay, very good. Cough syrup. Very good. Another person. How do you pronounce this? Whole pills. Whole pills. Very good. Then we have this one. This one is difficult. Tell me. How do you pronounce it? Someone? Fantasy. And to see the regular strength. Strength. Very good. Very good. Very good, Mario. Now we got this one is the one that you use. It's similar to, you know, cofal, marihuanol, right? Similar, right? But in the US, how do you say this? Muscar cream. No, this one. Look at this. Samuel? Aspirin. No, Samuel, look at the picture. I'm selecting this picture. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle, muscle. cream. Very good. Muscle. Very good. Muscle, muscle cream. Muscle. This one muscle. sometimes, cuando estamos empezando. Muscle cream. Yes. Cuando estamos empezando, we make mistakes and we say muscle. No, it's muscle. Muscle cream. Very good. Then I have another one here. This one. Cough Someone drops. else? Cough drops. Cough drops. Very good. Cough drops. cough drops. Very good. This is cough syrup and these are this is cough syrup and this is cough drops. Right? A little bit different because this one you can drink it. And this one they are small pills, right? For the cough drops. Then I have this other one. What is this? Nasal spray. Nasal spray. Very good. Nasal spray. Very good. Nasal spray. And what about this one? This is when I have dry eyes. Eye drops. Eye drops. Great, Clarissa. Eye drops. Very good. And the last Eye one. Drops. This is pretty easy. Aspirin. Spring. Aspirin. Very good. So let's take a look at my questions here on the top. I have some questions here that I want you to look, right? Can you see here? Can you see the pictures again? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. good. Yes, teacher. So in the pictures, I, it says here, what medications do you have at home? And what are these medications for? For example, 
I can say here, right? In my case, give me a second, and I put a text here. What medications do you have at home? I have, for example, in my case, I have cough syrup at home. Right? That's one answer. I have cup, cough syrup at home. And then I can say, what are these medications for? What is the cough syrup for? Cough syrup is for headache. Is that clear? Cough syrup is for headache. Is that correct? No. 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 Okay, no. it's not. It's Very good. Cough syrup is for a cough. cough. Very good. It's for a cough. Okay. Very good. So we have two answers, right? That we're gonna give to these questions, right? So tell me, we're going to practice right now, right? So you have this, right? What medications do you have at home? I can say I have cough syrup, I have aspirin, I have muscle cream, right? Or the ones that you have at home, right? What are these medications for? What for example, nasal spray is for? For what? Flu. It's for the flu. Very good. That's one example, okay? Very good. So do we understand what we're doing right now? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. We're going to do this quickly, right? We're going to do this practice quick. Give me a sec. We're going to practice here. And we're gonna make this. We're gonna work just two examples, okay? Two two examples of each. Vamos a cambiar de grupo. Group two. And then we're gonna go. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the groups. I will send you the picture right now. Let's go to the groups. Are we there yet? Yes? Um, yes Give me a second, it's my internet. Uh, Sorry. Ya recibió la invitación? Yes. Okay. Sorry, it's my internet. It's not good today. Okay, good. Josué, please click on your group. Susan, can you please go to your group? Susan. 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 Okay, I'm listening. Yeah. Uh, what what medication do you have at home? Yeah. 
I I I have all rents at home. All rents is for uh, my mouth. Next. What medication do you have at home? What are medication for okay. mm -hmm. muscle cream? Um, ahí tengo que completar para qué, teacher. Uh -huh. O solo la pronunciación. What do you want to say? Let's try. Okay. Um, I have um, no sé cómo puedo decir para hacer deporte porque hago deporte. Because I I practice sports. Por eso tengo eso. Por eso tengo la pomada for de. For my leg. Uh -huh, for, for your leg. For your. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. For your leg. For your leg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very um, good. Um, next. Um, okay. okay. What medication do you have at home? I have. Uh, Nasal spray. Okay. What are these medication for? Nasal spray is for a uh, flu. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Okay. Muy bien, chicos. We're doing great. Very good. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank You're you welcome. Cuando tenés los ojos irritados. When I have dry eyes. I use eye drops. Right, mm -hmm. nice. Just do it. Hi. Okay. And uh, teacher, what does mean antacid? Antacid is like Pepto. Pepto is small. It's oh. the same. Usually in the US they don't they uh -huh. don't use that word. They they use I, I need some pep talk. That's what they want oh. to say. Mm -hmm. It's the same. So I I have this medication too in my home. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> yes. I have a lot of problems. So <laughs> yeah. And another one. I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, no, el de muscle, muscle, dijo muscle, muscle verdad? Muscle. muscle. Very good. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle. Que, eh, teacher, que son las cold pills? All pills are the ones that you get when you are when you have the flu or when you have a cold. For example, here in El Salvador, we take um, when, when I when I have no <laughs> that's for a sore throat sometimes, you know. But when I yeah, when I have the flu, I take uh, how do you call this? This una una cosa en la mañana y otra en la noche. Vito ah, grip. Vito grip. So cold ah. pills are very, cold pills are the same as Vito grip, right? Okay. 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 okay Dennis, Dennis, what medication do you have at home? Okay, are we back?
Okay. Let's wait for the others. Okay, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Okay, okay, very good. So besides the practice that you have, I want to I want to listen to your practice, right? Escuchan, escuchan un par. So I want to see who wants to try. Let's see. Two volunteers, quickly. Me. Okay, very good, Marielos. And who else? Another person. Don't be shy. Me. Okay, Josue, very good. Marielos and Josue. Okay. Let's listen. Uh, what medication do you have at home? I have cold, cold fields at home. Continue, please. Hello, Josue. Josue. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Josué, ok, continuo. The next question. Ah. ¿Cuál de estos medicamentos, por acá? A ver. Second question. Uh, I, I have anti-irregular strength at home uh, because anti-irregular strength for my. <laughs> I'm a case. Okay, very good. Okay, very okay. good. <laughs> okay, another group. Another group. Thank, thank you, Marielos. Let's make okay, teacher. Another another person. Let's see. Another volunteer. Gracias, Lester. Gracias, Susan. Very good. Uh, Oh, Samuel. Samuel is going to help us. Okay, Samuel. Someone else? Me, teacher. Yes. Okay, William. Yes. Very good. So, let's see. Okay. Samuel, what medication do you have at home? I have a cow drops at home. Okay. And what are these medications for? Okay. Samuel, the second the second answer. What what are these medication for? Where is your day? What is your day? No, look look at the question here. What are these medications? William. William. Oh, William, what medication do you have at home? Okay, I have aspirin, muscle cream, cough syrup, and all the one you see in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, yes. okay. Everything. <laughs> okay. okay. Samuel, ask, ask William the second question. Samuel, okay. hágale la segunda pregunta a William, por favor. I have what no, medication? Hágale, Samuel, listen, listen. Hágale la segunda pregunta a William, por favor. What are these medication for? Uh, for example, I use aspirin for when I have headaches. Mm -hmm. I use muscle cream when I have a packet. Okay. And I I use cold cider when I have a throat. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Now, there are other ways to say the same things here. I want to show you. We have a couple of more minutes, so I'm going to show you here another way of saying this, okay? We just practice with two questions, but 
we can also say it like this. For example, right, whenever, right, whenever I have a migraine, I take aspirins, right? That will be one example. Whenever I have migraine, I take aspirin. So if you look at this, we have a formula to, to follow, right? We have whenever I have, right? Loss, the health problems, right? In this case, what is the health problem on the top? It's a migraine, right? It has the same color. And then we have the word I take, right? Or the phrase I take, and then the medication that we use, right? So in this case, we have this, right? This is another way of saying this, right? So I can say, for example, whenever I have a, well, whenever I have the flu, I take analgesics, right? For example, right? I have, whenever I have, plus the health problem, plus I take, plus the medication. Right? Is that clear? Right. If you look at this, right, we have here the same, like the format or the same arrows that we're going to follow, right? And this one will be here, right? That will be, that Teacher, will be, yes? I have a question. Yes? Cuando si, yo quiero decir, I have a backache, Yo tengo que usar, I take uh, muscle, muscle cream or I use muscle cream. You're going to say I use because you put the muscle cream on your, on your, on your skin, right? Right. Usually when you take it's because you drink it, right? So in that case, we're going to use I use, right? Okay. Thanks. So we can say here, use as well. Yes. Another way to make the sentence like the like you show in the in that occasion mm -hmm. is only whenever or when I have. Both. Both. Both are okay. Yes, I'm giving you right now whenever because that's the one that you practice on the video. Okay. So on the videos on the platform, you have only whenever. But you can also use here when. Like you have here. When? When I have. Both, both are right. Both are correct. Yes. yes. Both are correct. Right? Perfect. Right? So we can use this too. Right? So what else can I say here? What would be another example? Look at the formula, look at the examples. What could be another example if we use the formula? Another example? Nobody? Let's Me? see. Yes, yes, go okay. ahead. Okay. When I, whenever I have, I have, um, the flu. Mm -hmm. I take um, nasal spray. Nasal spray. Okay, very good. I use. I use or I, I use, use nasal spray. Very good. Right. I use nasal spray. Now, if you remember or if you notice, no, if you remember, no, if you notice, Right. These words, these medication words are very difficult, right, to pronounce. Porque no las usamos todos los días. Right? They are very difficult to pronounce. So what we're going to do, right, to look for the pronunciation of these words is that we're going to use Google pronunciation, right, to look for the pronunciation. For example, if I want to practice the pronunciation of this word, right, can you see my Google screen? Pueden ver la pantalla de Google? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. perfect. So for this, what are we going to do? We're going to put the word that we don't know, right? And then we're going to 
actually type the word pronunciation and then in English, right? That's what we're gonna do, right? And then we have the word, right? The pronunciation of the word right here. No me interesa la traducción, me interesa la pronunciación. Right? That's what I'm looking for. So for this, right, if you click in here, right, you're going to listen to this. Look at this. Analgesics. Did you listen to that? ¿Te escucharon? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. That was very fast, right? That was very fast. So I want to make sure that I can listen correctly. So I'm going to click and activate this one here that says slow, right? And then listen again. Analgesics. Okay, very good. Analgesics, right? That will be this word that I have here, right? Analgesics. That's what you're going to do. Porque sé que estas palabras no las usamos y son palabras eh, técnicas que cuestan un poquito más que las palabras que usamos on a daily basis. For example, if I have here, right, muscle, right? I want to check this because I don't know, right? So I do the same. I go here. Muscle. Muscle. Okay. So I want to listen again. Muscle. Muscle. Right? And then if you want to practice British pronunciation, you can do that. Pero no estamos practicando el British ahorita. Like just American English. Right? So that's what we're going to do. Because we have different words or different, uh, well, new vocabulary that we that we think is is difficult. Right? That I think is difficult. So, I want more examples. Todavía tenemos dos minutos. Ya les enseñé cómo buscar pronunciación difícil para este vocabulario que estamos practicando. Que es vocabulario técnico, vocabulario de hospital, de farmacias, y que no usamos todos los días. Right? So, tell me more examples here. Whenever I have, I need one example. I have it. Okay. Can you give me the whole sentence? Whenever I have. A headache. Okay. I take, I take aspirin. Aspirin. Okay. I take aspirin. Very good. One more. Let's see here. Let me see. Okay. Very good. Whenever I have allergies, oh, okay. I take. Anti allergy. Whenever uh, I have uh, allergies, allergies. Can you repeat that? Whenever I have allergies, I take I take anti allergies. Anti allergies. Okay, is this a word in English? Uh, I take. Okay, let's let's confirm. Right, when we are not sure about this, we also go to Google, right? Look, right, and we have this, this is a word, right? When you have anti-chlorinergics, right? Look at all these words, these are difficult to pronounce, right? That's why we do this, right? Okay, very good. One more example before you go. Otro ejemplo. Hey. Yes, go ahead. Whenever I have the fever, mm -hmm. whenever I have fever, hello, whenever I have the fever, uh -huh. I take Lozenges. How do you spell that? L. Uh -huh. What else? L O C. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Uh, I. I. N. G. N. S. Okay, one more time. L O. C. Mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm. N. Mm -hmm. G. Mm -hmm. I. Is. You. Okay, is that the name of a medicine? Pastilla. <laughs> but that's not what you spell. Mire lo que me deletrió. Lost in you. How do you say pastillas in English, guys? Everyone? Pills. 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 Very good. I take pills. Right? Okay, very good. Right? Okay, very good. So we're going to practice here this, and tomorrow we're going to be working with some more exercises with medications and we're going to see another topic related to grammar right that we're going to be working with so i need you to please watch the videos online uh, on the platform for you to be on, on top of the activities that we're doing right so do you have any questions for today's vocabulary or anything that you want to ask algo que quieran preguntar algo que no les haya quedado claro Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Yes? Uh, what What is the difference of the back, the bolso, and the back, the espalda? Okay, the back is the part of the body, right? And the okay. one that you use for uh, for your school, for example, that would be backpack. Right, backpack, the one that you put here, there's a backpack. And the one, mm -hmm. the difference, but the difference is, yes, look at the chat. The difference is the, the spelling, that's cartera. Look at the chat, bag, bag, and the other one is back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's okay. the difference. Good Thank question. You. Very good. Any more questions, guys? No? No, teacher. Okay. okay. No, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. So I will let you go right now then. Have a beautiful night and please rest. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, teacher. Good night everyone. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night team. Bye bye. Yes, Karen, we're going to have classes tomorrow. The Father's Days. Yes, we're going to have classes. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, I'll, you're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you, sure. You're welcome. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs>